thank you, Lord of God, for prayer we believe can do, dear Lord, what no other powers can do. Now bless every heart that has come out today, Lord, and help them, oh Lord of God, to look to you. If they don't know you, dear God, to come to know you in the free pardon of their sin. We thank you for this opportunity to please you, oh Lord of God, by being here this day. For it is in the name of Jesus, our Savior, for a sacred prayer. Amen. 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 So on behalf of the Bristol Community Remembrance Project Coalition, I'd like to thank you for being here today for this important milestone on the journey to memorialize Mr. Robert Clark. Uh, Mr. Robert Clark was lynched on June 13, 1891, and just two days ago marked the 133rd year anniversary of Mr. Clark's murder. This work that we're doing here today has not happened in isolation. It takes community, it takes all of you. So I wanna thank you. Um, a community that is willing to be brave and courageous and to be open to the uncomfortable truths of our past and our present, but be willing to be better, better humans and better stewards of our shared history as a community. I uh, would also like to thank the Bristol, Virginia City Council the Bristol Virginia School Board and the Bristol Area Ministerial Alliance for providing resolutions in support of this work. So Virginia House Resolution number 655 was passed unanimously by the House and the Senate in 2019, encouraging communities to partner with the Equal Justice Initiative's Community Remembrance Project to create greater awareness and understanding about racial terror lynchings and to begin a necessary conversation that advances truth and reconciliation by working with communities to commemorate and recognize the traumatic error of lynching by collecting soil from lynching sites across the country and erecting historical markers and monuments in these spaces. And what they didn't realize is that the story of soil is one that goes back and has roots in scripture itself to one of the very first crimes ever committed in human history. Genesis chapter 4, verse 10, when God calls out to Cain, what have you done? Your brother's blood cries from the soil. I celebrate along with Tina and other members, and let us never forget, and let us always remember, and let's never repeat that history. Amen. Amen. So we do know that Mr. Clark has family, and we have family members that are represented here today. So I'd like to ask one of the family members to, to comment. First, as um, Reverend Mabry said, uh, God is a way maker. Look what he's done. Um, my family, the Delaney and the Clark family, could, um, could not be here today, but um, they wanted me to express their gratitude to the Bristol Community Remembrance Project Co Coalition and I also want to say thank you for all your hard work, all your dedication to get this going. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> thank you. So at, at this time, um, what we're going to do is we're going to close with prayer and then we're going to proceed to collect the soil. Ideally, we would collect the soil from the site of the lynching. We were not permitted to do so. So we will be collecting today from two symbolic locations, the Bristol Virginia Courthouse, which represents the seat of justice because justice was denied Mr. Clark. Across the street where WCYB now stands is where the courthouse and jail was located in 1891. And it was the site where Mr. Clark was abducted and taken up Lee Street and taken to the site where he was lynched. The soil will be placed in a glass container and you'll see that here. And it's labeled with Mr. Clark's name and the date of the lynching. The container will be returned to Montgomery where it will be displayed at the Peace and Justice Memorial in Montgomery, Alabama.